Hello guys, so welcome back to another edition of Common Sense with Freddy. And if you're just joining this channel for the very first time, I want to welcome you very specially. And please don't forget to smash on the red subscribe button below this video to join this community. And just in case you're meeting me for the very first time, I am a capacity builder. Aside being a capacity builder, I am also an IT consultant. I work with the tech space here in the US and I also run a virtual coaching platform called Zit Worldwide. So I coach, I mentor, and I train on several IT certifications. Most importantly, I am skilled in transitioning you from minimal jobs to a six-figure space or from minimum wage to a six-figure space. So just in case that's something that resonates with you, use the links below this video to reach out to us and we definitely show you how to go about it so time and again i have spoken about the power of science i have said over and over again after your creator whoever created you which i'm sure in african culture in african tradition we call that person chuku in ebola olua in yoruba land abasi in my own Calaba language english users call him god you know what i mean so after god after olua after abasi the next thing is science not religion god is not religion no we reference god because God is our maker, a supernatural being that controls what science cannot define, like sun, like the depth of the ocean that is up to 45,000 feet. We don't know what happens down there. Science don't go there. Like how we were formed inside the belly of our mothers, the chemistry behind that, it is only our creator who can speak to that, who can explain the mystery about those. Now, what is STEM? STEM represents science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. So from a career coaching perspective, I can tell you the fact that a lot of things that we use on earth, 98% of what is keeping you and I active, functional, effective it all stem from stem s-t-e-m science technology engineering and mathematics no matter how small the career is is rooted to science it's rooted to technology it's rooted to engineering it's rooted to mathematics so regardless whatever you studied i can tell you for a fact you still have something to do with science. I'll give you an example. You study theater art. You're a movie maker. You direct, you create stories, and you shoot the movie. So let's talk about science in that aspect. The cameras you use, is it not science? When the cameras are purchased, you need to read the user manual. You need to understand how the cameras, or those cameras, how they function. How about the lightning? It is not science that was used to create it. Let's talk about your religion that is also a system. How are they able to propagate their message? Is it not by the use of microphones? Isn't that science? Is it not by the use of amplifier? Isn't that science? The buildings that you put up, is it not architectural design that were created by science-oriented individuals? Do you know the amount of calculation that gets into the measurement of the pillars or the poles or the mixture of the cement or the concrete? These are all signs. How about us as humans? When our parents formed us, a lot of us were being taken to the doctors for antenatal care and upon delivery, it was carried out in the hospital. Signs play a significant role so why would you shy away from science now basically even if you are an accountant the software that you are using to run 
your um, different workflows. Of course, that is IT, information technology, that is science. Can you see that we can't function without science? So why are you shying away from science? I have a lot of clients that are here in the US that when they come to me, and I'm trying to introduce them to, you know, relative area that has a little bit of signs to help them up to speed not because um it's a must do but it is because it's going to give you some financial freedom computer is science the laptop you use is science the phone we use it's all science driven if you don't spend time to learn how to navigate your phones, you definitely would not know how to navigate your phones. So why are we shying away from science? Why are we shying away from STEM? The reason is simple. We have been doctrinated to believe that everything is all about miracle. Everything is driven by miracle. You can sleep as a poor person. You wake up tomorrow as a rich man that is the narrative that's the story that we've been told those are what we were introduced to is it really the best narrative for us absolutely it is not but because that is exactly what was pushed into us they made us believe that you can speak in tongues or you can speak a thing and it to come to be i do understand the power of positive confession I do understand the power of speaking into a thing, but there is also a place whereby you need to use your brain to think and to use your hands to put to work. So ladies and gentlemen, if you are listening to me and you are a youth and you are a young person, I will encourage you to choose any of those associated science, technology, engineering, career or resource or skill set especially the it please jump into the space learn at least one it skill set that is science if you love engineering you can profile you can create you can create your own product and make something out of it as ever see you all at the top because the bottom is crowded <laughs>